My solvable is peace, but you can't get there without justice, and you can't have justice without racial reconciliation. I'm Mitch Landrew. I'm the former mayor of New Orleans and president and chief executive officer of E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. As everyone in America should know by now, slavery was our nation's original sin. Most of us in America don't really have a deep appreciation for our real history, our true history, our whole history, nor the vestiges of racism as they currently exist. And as a consequence, our nation has been torn apart by race and class. There are a number of statistics that would make you stop in your tracks. One of them is a the maternal mortality rate, which is four times for African-American women than it is for white women. The other is the number of African-American men in jail compared to white men and the number is astronomical. So my mission is to help unite the country across race and class through a process of racial reconciliation in America. One thing we have never done is taken a formal process through racial reconciliation. We have not actually gotten through it like Germany and or South Africa who have worked through the most traumatic events that have happened in their countries. And the question is how are we gonna do that? The conversations are very important so that we can say that we saw each other, we heard each other we felt each other and we understood each other. Once the conversation is had and people then begin to have what I can only describe as transformational awareness, oh wow, now I see that the way that we organize school districts gave your child less of an opportunity than my child. Oh, I understand now when you look at all of the underwriting that's done in the mortgage business that they actually redline certain areas and African Americans couldn't get loans. When we understand each other and then we redesign policies that have been designed inappropriately from the beginning, then we're going to get better. And that is what a process of racial reconciliation takes. And it's actually not that complicated, it's just really hard to do. How much greater and better would this country be? How much more beautiful would it be if everybody, every kid, irrespective of race, creed, color, national origin, sexual orientation, could become what it is that their talents would guide them to become? How much better would we be? It will be arduous, it will be uncomfortable, but it's necessary if we're ever gonna live up to our promise, out of many we are one.